All right, guys, I'm back with another video. Today is going to be part three of my Crazy Taxi collection, and it's going to be like all my sealed games. You know, you already saw a bunch of the loose copies. I did pick up a couple since my last video, which has been a while. But since that last video, I've been like kind of out of it, I guess. You know, for a while, even pretty much most of this year, I've contemplated whether I wanted to continue doing YouTube. And right now, I do. But sometimes I just don't feel like it. So that's why I'm kind of intermittent with videos. You know, I go in and out of it, and then you won't see me for a couple months or whatever it may be. But recently, I had four wisdom teeth pulled out. So the last three weeks, almost a month now, I've been kind of in recovering. So actually, it's been, it was like three weeks of like tiredness and then this week I've actually been kind of getting my energy back so you know I mean that doesn't explain the other months worth of uh, inactivity here on the channel but you know sometimes I just don't feel like making videos other times I do you know so it's just been like I don't know I'm just in and out of it you know but um anyway let's just go ahead and get into the video um, I've been wanting to do this for a while but uh, I've been putting it off so my recent pickup, uh, these are, it's only two of them right now, uh, these are complete in box. So Crazy Taxi Double Punch, um, if you realize uh, this is the Japanese version and it's titled Double Punch where Fair, Fair Wars <laughs> is the North American, Canadian and European I believe also released. So Double Punch was Japanese and you can see here's the side of the case here the back is uh, not only does it have different artwork you know but uh, on the front and the back I mean the titles different but the artwork is different and then here's the, the manual on the inside I haven't tested it out I do need to um, you know give it a play and see if it actually plays any better maybe uh, smoother or something I doubt it but and here's the other pickup this is the uh, Dreamcast collection um, I couldn't pass it up it was only like 24 bucks and I already have one uh, sealed which I will show you in a little bit but I couldn't pass it up so it has crazy taxi on there you can see it on the other end right over there my pinky is here's the back this game is actually um, picked up in price uh, recently Probably because a lot of the uh, YouTubers are like, collect Xbox 360 now. You know, so, yeah. And what's funny is I don't even have a 360, so I can't even play it. This nice version of the game in widescreen 720p native. You know, I'm stuck with my 480p. But it did remove all the licensing content. Okay, so let's start I, these aren't in any particular order okay so here's a sealed dreamcast all stars edition sega all stars um i picked this up like let me see a little almost two years ago couldn't pass up the deal it was a good price i think it was like 50 bucks or something i don't remember but this is the original Crazy Taxi for Dreamcast, anyway, sealed. This one, if I remember, I actually got this for like $11, so I couldn't pass that up either, even though I'm not really a PC collector. Crazy Taxi on PC. And what's funny is it actually has clearance stickers for $5. So if you double that, that's 10 and really I only paid 11 And it was sealed. I just saw it and I was like, you know what, I don't collect PC, but I'll just go with it. Sorry about the, the ring light. It, it helps with my camera because if I, if I shut it off, I get kind of grainy see, and it's harder to see. So that's why. Here is Crazy Taxi original um, black label or white label, you know, for the Dreamcast. This one I paid a pretty penny for because I couldn't find no deals. I looked for a long time, but 
I sell things on eBay and I have my t-shirt website so check that out tpublic slash paraholics link should be in my bio and these all these games are sealed if I haven't said that already I think I did okay this one right here crazy taxi 2 for the Dreamcast there was not a white label uh, this was a later release what year because the first one was like in 99 this says uh, 2001 so that's kind of late in the Dreamcast <laughs> since they didn't last very long there's a there's a crack up here where the hood is right up there you know but I think I paid like 50 bucks for it it's sealed you know I don't mind the crack it's whatever you know I don't have that like getting anything graded or anything like that so here's the back I just try to angle it so you don't get the uh, the light glare that was crazy taxi too let me uh this is a good one right here so I'm gonna set that one up there I like that one I want to save that one okay here is crazy taxi 2 for the Dreamcast uh, this is the Japanese release and a lot of these when you go and check them out they'll say like new other and some of them will be sealed and some of them won't be um, some of these are already like they're sealed and then I got them in this little thing right here to protect even further so I can hang this on my wall and it's not sticking to the original um, cellophane wrapping you know that's on there but crazy taxi too but some of these will be listed as new other and you know it's sealed when this little right here along the side when that is inside the packaging if it's outside the packaging it's not sealed even if it looks like it is so just keep that in mind crazy taxi 2 Japanese uh, Dreamcast release here is crazy taxi for PlayStation this is the NTSC so US Canada nothing crazy um, a lot of times you'll notice that the the yellow color will vary from console release I don't know why maybe they're kind of mimicking their own color <laughs> replication for their console because you know back in the day during the 8 and 16 bit oh you know we got this many colors and we have this many colors here is crazy taxi for the Nintendo GameCube and this is what I mean look the uh, the colors are off just a little bit and sometimes the colors will be even more off than that here's the back nothing special just the original release you know crazy taxi I actually paid like I think it was $22 for this, even though it says KB Toys $14.99. I paid like $22 bucks for it um, on eBay. So, I think my daughter's awake. She's microwaving some cheese sticks. I can hear the microwave going. So, here is Crazy Taxi 3 and the original Xbox. This is also going up currently. Um, if I remember, I think I paid like $45 for this. Um, this is the NTSC release. Here's the back. You know, nothing crazy. Crazy Taxi 3 is exclusive on PC and original Xbox. It is not backwards compatible with 360 on up um, due to licensing. And make sure you get the NTSC if you can because even the PC versions, one of them removed Fila and they replaced it with um, either a bicycle shop I think or a fishing shop I can't remember which and then the power release they removed all of the licensing stuff and the music is stuttery and glitter oasis that there's dropped frames even though glitter oasis isn't the best on here because they didn't optimize it I think it was a rushed release you know and uh even though it's not the best, I mean, it's that is the better, superior version to play. So, look for that. And here is the 360 version uh, Dreamcast collection. 
I think I paid around forty dollars for this. Um, this is sealed, of course, but you know I prefer to have a sealed copy over a loose. But um, I figure at some point, you know, I'll get a three sixty maybe for cheap, and then I'll be able to play it in seven twenty p with no licensed content like I. Well, I mean, this one is the same way. I just have to add on music. And then uh, I can do that for the channel. Now, I got this one. Um, this one costs a little bit more. It's the player's choice. It costs a little bit more. Uh, 75 bucks, if I remember right. I don't remember the exacts on everything, but I just give you an estimate. But it has this blister packaging, which is kind of nice. Um, it helps protect it. You know, it's sealed inside there, but... I've also thought about removing it and then I'm like, because you know, because it's, it's bulky, but it's neat to have. I even seen, um, there was a PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits and it had the, uh, you know, like the old cassette tapes had that huge plastic thing to wrap around. Then it had a huge handle on the bottom. It's so, back in the day, if you don't know, you couldn't fit it in your pocket to steal it. So, and they would hide the uh, security tags inside there too. And so that was, uh, that's why they did that. But I had saw one. It was pretty cheap. It was like $25. But I didn't pick it up because I was like, I already have it. I'm, I would be just buying it for the plastic holder that's still around it. You know, and that was it. Uh, this right here, this is a demo disc for the Crazy Taxi 3 Japanese release. It's sealed. I, I might have shown it in my other videos. I'm not sure. Because I did have two that are sealed. I don't know if I opened one, but this is the back. And again, I just put my own little thing on there. And I put tape because these this sticky thing doesn't hold very strong enough on the wall. Here is the PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits NTSC. You can actually get this still pretty cheap. You know, if you... Um, if you're in a rush to buy it, it might cost you about $35 right now, but generally you can get it for about $25, uh, even today, you know. Um, some people will list it for $80 or $100, and, you know, you just wait. Nobody seems to want this version. Like, they'll be listed for a while, and they'll just stay there. Nobody wants them. You ever notice, uh, even on the other PlayStation 2 copy, this right here looks purple. See, here's this. See, it looks purple. I wonder why. It's just funny, but but yeah, you can get you can get these for cheap, uh, completely sealed. Um, some games will be listed as sealed, even if it has this on it. You know, the sticker and everything. But you know, I want the whole plastic wrap around it. But yeah, you can get it for pretty cheap if you if you're patient enough. I'm not a PC collector, but this was eight bucks, so I bought it. <laughs> this is um, where did it come from? Spain, or I don't know exactly. It wasn't U.S. This is a product of Europe, so yeah. And here's the back. So yeah, I like it when you know games like this are are cheap. And then, oh wow, looking through, you can't see that, but the inside of the cover, because I can see through the light, let's see if you can, if I really get close. Yeah, you can't see it, uh, no matter what. If I have a flashlight right here, I don't. Yeah, I do. Watch. Give me a second. Let's see if I can do this. I want you to see. It's kind of neat. I don't know if it'll work. Okay, see? The light's not bright enough, is it? See, the inside of the cover has got other game titles listed. See? You're not gonna be I mean, you might barely, but... And it's funny, the reason I'm even doing that is because I've seen some other PC releases and 
the inside of this cover that has all you know because it's sealed so I can't really see it but the inside of the cover has got a whole bunch of like a little little titles and I've seen like the front cover of other PC versions like that when I guess it's a compilation and then they have crazy text included but yeah uh, this one I think in total it cost me um, like eight I think it actually cost me about 18 bucks US this one if I remember right it came from Lithuania. Uh, Lithuania can't say that right but but yeah this is the PC collection of crazy taxi for the uh, you know Dreamcast right and you can see it's a power release as so see the number 12 plus um, again I'm not a PC collector but if the game is cheap enough I'll pick it up and there wasn't a PC collection at least a physical copy I don't even know if a digital ever existed but there's not a physical PC in the US you know NTSC or Canada you know and they released it elsewhere so I picked it up because it was cheap here is the PAL version of Crazy Taxi 3 you know what's interesting about this is uh, if you're new to the whole crazy taxi thing so the NTSC release and Japanese um, release are crazy taxi 3 high roller and this is crazy taxi 3 and this is the power release the Japanese has a nice glittery uh, cover which I already showed in the previous video, but it's still a high roller even though the, the cover is a lot nicer than even this one and so yeah This is an inferior version of the game um, Because of the lack of some of the licensing like the music some of the locations are still there, but they removed Fila I believe and replace it with like a either a bicycle shop I, I'm pretty sure it's a bicycle shop but it could have been a fishing shop but they did that they removed the music you know other locations are still there I believe like Pizza Hut KFC Levi's so but this runs at 50 Hertz frames per second and it's inferior so pick up the NTSC if you're gonna play it if you're gonna play it on PC I believe there's mods to pretty much fix everything except for the Fila being missing but I've also seen where the Fila was there, so I don't know if it's like region specific. So yeah, and that's that one. And a few left. Here is Crazy Taxi on PSP. This is Fair Wars. And earlier I showed you Double Punch that I picked up recently, which is open. I wanted it sealed, but I could never find it sealed. So I picked it up. Here's Fair Wars. This is actually a cheap game right now. You could buy this brand new for about 22, 25 bucks. Uh, so if you actually want one, go pick it up. Uh, just look on eBay and filter and search it. Even if you open it, I mean, it's not an expensive game. They removed all the licensing, uh, but if you have the MP3 files, you could put them and the game actually has custom music setting in the menu. So you could put your MP3s and then all you gotta do is press select to change songs or just let it shuffle on its own. So yeah, and then you can play the original music uh, or whatever music you want to play. So yeah. But um, no music is included. No license locations are included. The video, you can either say it's been squashed and stretched or you can just say it's been stretched. So it's not widescreen, it's been stretched and you can notice it's not terrible and it's only 30 frames. I suggest if you're going to play it, run it from custom firmware and up your, um, what do they call it? There's a setting in there so you can overclock your PSP. Overclock it and then run it from SD card so you can get those full 30 frames because there are some areas where they're slow down and you won't get it if you do that. Or you will, but it just won't be as bad. <laughs> so here is the uh, Japanese Platinum Edition. We did not get one of these in the U.S. This is Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. 
this sticker placement right there is kind of annoying but I just left it there just I don't know because and this one over here too but oh well you know no big deal we didn't get a platinum release in the US and I don't believe there was a PAL platinum release either so yeah oh I do have a another pickup I might this one might have not shown in the other video either I don't remember I'm gonna show it real quick just in case because I'm remembering crazy taxi 3 high roller this is the rental from Hollywood video I did not know if this game this rental copy existed and now I have all three I got the PlayStation 2 the case cover art is the same and then I have the GameCube version and it's you know the same but they use purple for GameCube and blue for PlayStation um, I believe I showed those in the other video but I don't know if I had this one at the time it's been a while so yeah when I saw it I bought it I was like I'll never see this again and I haven't made my own little custom I'm gonna take the original uh, manual and then I'm gonna take it to work and I'm gonna copy it I can make copies here but it's not the same as a copy machine versus a printer you know and then I'm gonna build my own little manual that looks like a rental one I did that before in another video uh, which one I'll show this one all right so this is crazy taxi Japanese release for the Sega Dreamcast sealed Here's the back and the reason I wanted to hold off on this one was because the sample sticker now this is an actual sample right and so the sticker is actually underneath the cellophane wrapping so it's not on top of it it's not like somebody just stuck the sticker on there because you know somebody like me I could Photoshop a sticker like that and uh, so yeah even though like see it's on the, the other but anyway yeah I had I've already looked into it like a lot I mean I could feel it you know because I got it wrapped but anyway so yeah this is an actual sample but everything about it in the inside of it when you open it it's just the regular retail release of the game it's not a white label or anything different other than the sticker and so I was like you know what I got a good deal on it the guy kept reducing the price reducing the price and then I made an offer and I think I paid like less than seventy dollars for it so I got a really good deal and if the sample sticker didn't mean anything then I still got a good deal on the sealed copy of the game because a lot of times they're asking upwards of two hundred dollars or more for it so really the sample doesn't mean a whole lot I just mentioning that because it's you know for all intents and purposes the whole inside of the game the game physical game itself is a retail release it's no nothing different so here is one of my favorites crazy taxi catch a ride for the Game Boy Advance I got it in this nice acrylic case it is sealed here's the back so yeah these now that would end the end of that so this is probably one of my favorites out of all of them that I have you know you can always see it because I usually have it sitting right there and um, so yeah hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching sorry I've been gone for 50 days or whatever it's been by the time I upload this and um, speaking of 50 I've lost in total over 50 pounds now <laughs> so yeah I've been uh, working on my health and everything I gotta go get ready and do a little workout start lifting some weights and stuff uh, now that I believe I can because my wisdom teeth 
that they removed all that's healed up and everything so um thanks to the new subscribers i know i haven't been around but i appreciate all of you who stuck around all the new ones that came about i'm over 6800 now so that's been a long long time coming so i appreciate it and uh, hopefully you all will stick around as well and i will see you in the next video i cannot promise when that'll be but um for right now i'm going to continue making videos for youtube until one day i decide i'm not ready to do it anymore you know but uh and focus on maybe playing games or something but anyways for the time being i'll be making videos so don't worry about that i'll announce whenever i'm ready to retire i've been on youtube since 2007 so that's quite a long time so um anyways enough rambling thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one